<laughs> Welcome back to Explosion Face! Explosion Face! Explosion Face! So, you, you, so we're back uh, with uh, Turn of Darkness. What the fuck was that? Uh, that was my son Heavy. Welcome to the Looney Bin! <laughs> Where Welcome you start to, to hear things! Welcome to the Looney Bin, the Looney Bin, the Looney Bin! <laughs> enemies are dead, you already killed them. Yeah, you killed them. Oh, you said that you were heading, you were heading down, I thought. No, it's... Oh, it's just the cat behind you. <laughs> she's, she's the, um, special effects coordinator. <laughs> yep, yeah, looks that yeah. way. Welcome to the Looney Bin. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so. Is there more blood or just the same amount? No, the special. The, the insanity effects are at random. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They will happen randomly. You will know. <laughs> you will know, apparently. You're my new pillow. I would die. Is that okay? I'm gonna use your cat as a new pillow. Okay. Yeah, no, it was impossible to avoid oh, the, right. losing that sanity in the other room. Mostly because as soon as I entered the room, everything saw me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so my sanity went to zero instantly. Yeah. That so, happens. That doors are open at least, so that's something, right? Yes. Oh, fuck, I thought, the, the, I thought the TV went on us. No. <laughs> Wait a sec, what, what, what effect just happened? The whole oh, the the TV, TV show, show man. man. Fuck yeah, we're gonna the answer best this. <laughs> um, can I pause when the TV shuts off like that? No. no okay, so if it happens during a fight, I'm fucked. Is that right? It'll just... Well, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's insanity effects. It's, it's yeah. meant to it's meant to make you feel on edge and like, yeah. So if that happens, oh my god, it's adorable. You're now part of our game library, kind of. I kind of don't want her to wreck those red books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kind of. You gotta come out. So kind of just yeah, literally just, climbed out. Just move the art books for you. All there right, there we go. <laughs> no, you don't want. To. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. She's not, she, she was just using you as a means to get out of the cabinet. That's fine. I can't wait till that one effect happens. Mute effect? No. Okay. There, there are a lot of other ones that are weak. Well, I only see one thing in this thing. Fool! You should have run. Instead, you will die. Where is the essence of Mantarok? Where is it? I will not ask again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. <laughs> So I'm wondering if that enchanted item is one of the enchanted items that can be stored in the book, because then it means Alex has it. Not the heart the itself. It does, okay. That's technically not an item you had. Well, shit's it's already not, It's not an it. item you have, though, the, the heart of Mantarok. At least not yet. Small shrine of candles, the placement appears to be very deliberate, corresponding to the entrance on the wall. Uh, Good! 
Yep. Everything you do, keep in mind. Yeah. So I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not even gonna give any hints because like with the things you do on each person, each each chapter, you, you gotta make use. Yeah, of those but what I'm thinking is like I I might have forgotten since the last time we played because this is a new session. That's all. Oh no, that's fine. With the correct sequence of candles being lit, uh, hidden animals. There is a, a message, message to inside. inside. Ooh, pick up. I just found a message to. Just one sec before we keep going. I just want to mention that. We don't have the mic yet, so until we actually have the mic, it would be very difficult for them to actually hear anything we say. But sometimes when you're reading, try to like if you're if you're gonna choose to read, try to read a little louder, otherwise. I'm gonna sorry, I'm, I'm too used to just mumbling under my breath but as I'm reading things in games. It's not a good habit. I know. <laughs> it's, it's a big like, habit. An antique leather bound tube. <laughs> That's oh, the <laughs> kind used to transport sealed messages scrolls. It and for some of the rest. This might be some. There might be something inside. Should Alex open it? Yes. Alex That's... found a chapter uh, page entitled "Suspicious Suspicions, Suspicions of, of Conspiracy." Conspiracy. <laughs> this next one's fucked up. <laughs> but let's just watch this. Your presence is welcomed, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both, then. He lies. As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Ulyoth, Chaturga. Should they unite with Mantarok, they will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark, the others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarok will be bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. certain to retrieve Mandrock's essence, it is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard-pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one and the other. Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. Far more pleasant than Mantarok. <laughs> after the chapter pages are removed from Mr. Chu, it's no longer needed. Alex discards it. Thanks for giving me the choice. <laughs> Wouldn't need it anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, the stack of human bodies. Yeah, I remember that now. Yup. That happens soon. Well, later, but yeah. <laughs> But uh, one thing I want to point out in this episode is that, because I don't know if you've noticed it, press the start screen for a second. Do you notice anything different? Uh, my sanity is back to normal and my health is full. I also don't have the thing that heals me. Uh, no, your sanity is lower now. Oh, no, lower than, than hers was, but not lower than Lady in the past. You're going yeah. slightly insane. No, well, because... Whatever stats you ended with is the stats that actually, like, the, your stats will actually be deducted or will become those stats. Shit. So if you've lost sanity, if you were, like, near the end of your sanity, like, near the end, like, a uh, lowest sanity possible, and you finish that chapter, you will come back and you will be, like, insane. Like, you will have the same, roughly the same amount of insanity lost. Well, same goes with HP. Well, Alex has... More sanity than... Yes, but that was deducted. 
from the overall from before. Yeah. Like whatever you lost in that chapter gets deducted from Alex. What I was saying is, is I lost almost all my sanity, so why did it only take that much away? It will take some of it away because you were just in the Tome of Darkness and you lose sanity almost every time you enter that. And those stats but have something to do with it as well. Okay, so my overall stats as Alex are huge? What do you mean? Okay, because the girl in the past yeah. lost sanity so she was almost entirely insane. Yeah. So when I came back to Alex, why, instead of being almost totally insane, did I only lose that little bit of sanity? Because you were using the Tome of Darkness and you lost sanity. If you didn't, if you still had full sanity, you would not have lost sanity at all. You lose some, you, you slightly lose some of the sanity. Yeah, but I didn't lose as much as I actually. It doesn't didn't. matter. You no, still lose some matter. sanity. Like, so, okay. Seriously. That was unclear. You didn't oh, explain so it very sure. well. From my research. It is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Hanc mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our lord and emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. They are words for his eyes only, at once. Bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. Keep in mind, when we start a new thing, I will probably forget virtually everything from my last playthrough. Well, you wanted to play Eternal Darkness, so <laughs> a lot of this I'm not gonna I'm not gonna refresh your memory because I would probably end up spoiling things. Because I know that there will be other viewers that are either unaware of what's going on or they'll be spoiled. What the fuck? This place oh. you will be coming back to frequently. Every, yeah. time, every time you do a chapter, yeah. Okay. And you're going to see Hell one yeah. of the most disturbing things. I don't know if you've even noticed it yet. That's that's the, the girl, girl I was. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. Look at the floor. Look at the floor carefully. Moving around. But what are they? Eyeballs. Nope. Faces? Keep going. They look like eyeballs. Keep going. What do you hear? Screams. They're screaming. They're dead people. Keep going. That's the book. Cradled in what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book. It is bound in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Anthony claim the Tome of Eternal Darkness? I don't think you have much of a choice. <laughs> um, I haven't explored the rest of the area and I think there's nothing here! That's literally <laughs> all that's there, dude! <laughs> what was inside of this room? Nothing! There nothing. was people and stuff! Nope! There's like, you would have to come here first anyway. Okay. Like, there's literally nothing. I've already checked. When I had my playthrough. But this See, I didn't know that, and you gave that away. <laughs> I didn't actually spoil anything. I just said there's nothing. <laughs> Anthony's presence is questioning. By the, my, by the monks, feeling that he is trespassed upon sacred ground. The monks seem rather subdued, perhaps out of respect, or perhaps out of fear. They know we've been touching little boys! <laughs> oh my god. We're going that far now? <laughs> well, no, 
the book is bound in leathery skin, made of human skin, and those humans were little boys. Oh, oh, oh wow, <laughs> we're going even worse. <laughs> wow. We could end it with the uh, whole with where I went, but you know. This is muffled voices emanate from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked, and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter and gain an audience with Charlemagne. That's technic that's that is actually where you need to go, but you're not able to enter yet. Okay. So yeah, go ahead and explore. It's just a wall. There wasn't anything beforehand, and that was like literally the only place you could have gone. But now like other things would be available. Okay, no. I thought it was a shiny thing up there. No, it's just another window that's <laughs> partially covered. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Whatever, dude, you're exploring. Alright, so go ahead and interact, or, like... Visibly disturbed with grief and despair, the monk sobs pitifully. He recounts that, his, that this is not the only death to have occurred recently, and wonders if perhaps the Order is being punished for a wavering in faith. So, so they're dead. currently at a mass right now for the dead. Whoever is in that casket. Yeah. The monk cordially greets Anthony. However, he brings great news of the loss of one of his order, who fell from the tower to his death. His tone is guarded, leaving Anthony wondering if indeed this is the truth. Okay. To be determined. <laughs> oh, voice, got it. The monk informs Anthony that the order is awaiting the arrival of the bishop, so that the funeral rites may begin. There is much grieving to do, since this is not the only recent death among the order. Okay, so they're waiting for the bishop to come out of the thing? Yeah. The convention hall? Yes, but you can still explore and do things. Okay, you're just praying at the altar thing. Yep, he's just praying. That's just, oh, it's... I yeah, I know that. I know the perspective. Yeah, the perspective. I, I honestly thought that was a wall that you could go by. I thought there, I th yeah, I thought this was a wall or there was a staircase or something. Yeah. Uh, so, I still can't... I can't... Can't interact with anything you've already checked there. It doesn't change. Punch a monk no, in the face. Not. I don't punch a so monk in the face. So I in, go out this door. Anthony cannot leave yet. Charlemagne must be warned of the conspiracy against them. Because he opened up a scroll and it was bewitched. So now he was trying to go find Charlemagne, which would be in that door, but you can't enter there yet. Yeah. So the only where only and you've already searched everywhere you can here, so you need back to go back up. Again? Yeah. Keep in mind you were in a different dimension back then. Now it'll be something else. Oh really? Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> That's that's actually very helpful. Hey, there's something no, shiny over there. Part at work that does not wish to be disturbed. There's Ooh, shiny, shiny shit everywhere. If you see something shiny, take it. Okay, everything shiny I want to take. Got it. Yeah. Is that me? Blue urn rests upon a shelf. Pick take the blue urn and smash it. <laughs> Ironically, it looks like it's also... Now knock out the monk with the blue urn! <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat... What? Somewhat addled by Anthony's think. destruction, the monk kindly requests to be left alone. Yes, I wish to leave you alone, but I want to take the papers right in front of your head. Unfortunately, I don't think you can take it yet. I don't think it'll let you. Yeah, it's not one of those games. Fucking hell, that's annoying. Alright, so I guess you can just Wait. look around. Oh, look, look I can't at all the books. Look at this with detail. No, but there are books on the shelf you can explore. Books. Oh, look, Where's he moved! Book? The dude moved! Oh, he moved? He did. Oh. Yoink. Anthony reaches out for the medallion, but the monk says that it is. A venerable artifact required for his research and should not be touched. Damn it! You know, I'll steal it later. <laughs> steal that shit later. <laughs> nothing there. No, no, wait. What? There is nothing in the first ones. There is one quill in that thing in the second one. Okay. But well, what does that mean? Possible puzzles. So I'm just making like a little bit that's all. Detail. 
A bewildering array of books and tomes sorted neatly on a set of shelves. Mostly books of a religious nature. Well, fuck. Of course, they're the monks. They sit beneath a skein of dust. Skein? I don't know that word, I'm sorry. A skein <laughs> of dust. As if no one has touched them. I, I assume it means layer. Yeah. <laughs> From context, I assume it means layer, but I've never heard the word skein. And the exact the same exact thing. The exact same thing. <sighs> Wonderful. Well, so what were you working on before, Monk? Over here. Because you moved. I can't read it. Oh, well, shite. Hello? Oh, this well, so there's nothing to do up here now. So yeah. And you got an urn. Okay. Back down you I go. I got a blue urn. So guys, wait, like hold on, we'll here. hold it right here. Uh, so we're gonna see what happens next. Oh shit! Spell list. The spell list. Oh, is in it? Okay, we'll hold off here and start on the next one. Just I don't touch to, anything. I wanted to save, <laughs> but I can't because we don't have to spell list. I'm gonna save this and then we can continue and then you can yep. save. It's okay. fine. Um, so guys, we're gonna leave off here and explain the spell list after. Um. But uh, yeah, we'll find out what we need to do next in this monk's chapel. Explosion phase! Explosion phase! They're touching kids for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I still <laughs> insist that that book is made up of child skin. <laughs> Particularly boys. Alter okay. boys or... Notice how there are it no used altar to boys. be altar boys. There, there aren't any anymore. Claire, because now they're a book. <laughs> Jesus. Now they are book. And now, now they, they are, are book. Now they are book. <laughs>